Hi Capricorns and Crosswatchers, this is Amna from Soulmate Terror and today we are doing a love spread to find out the harsh reality of your love situation. Um, now this is a romantic love uh, read but at the same time this could also apply to certain situations or issues which you have long been um, you know um, putting off aside uh, and not been dealing with them um, maybe this particular um, spread will give you a perspective how to look at things differently and work on them let's see okay by the way uh, I'll be using three decks so I'm not gonna take any reversals because I, I'm using three decks until and unless uh, there is a, there will be reversals here because I haven't started the decks uh, but at the same time um, if my guides don't want me to uh, put a reversal into a right position I won't uh, otherwise I, if there is a reversal that comes in I will put it in the upright position let's see what's happening with you Capricorns Ha, ah, Capricorn, only you can come into your reading. reading. <laughs> the Devil card. The Shadow card is basically the Devil card in traditional tarot. Um, or right away, as you call it. Um, you're feeling obsessed. Uh, you're feeling being possessive about it. Um, or someone, possessive about someone. Uh, could be that you are going through a time in your life where you are overindulging into different things could be alcohol um maybe partying too much um, everything excess of everything is bad just remember that but um here it seems as if you are allow allowing someone else to take power over you um or something to take power over you if in case of addictions um, someone who left you um, with a lot of drama uh, to be honest that's what I'm getting from this card uh, this is like being um, um, being overpowered uh, through hell that kind of situation um, this is someone who has who has totally grip on your mind right now and you cannot really walk away from the situation probably you are so obsessed with this person you that no matter what you don't want to walk away from this person um you don't feel like walking away from this person you don't want to let them go um but at the same time um with the devil card i always feel that although there are chains and in i'm talking about right away um you can still walk away from it victoriously honestly speaking if you want to if you can break from them um you can stop giving away the, your power to the other person and you can walk out of that particular situation as a strong really um very strong-minded and victorious person at the same time but right now it seems as if you have given up uh, your uh, mental emotional power to someone else uh, or something else in your life like i said before um it but i think it's time for you to let go of this um devil which is taking control over your personality and uh look at your fears in the face um literally look at your fears in the face if that's a person look at them uh, in their face and tell them that you don't have any any more control over me um whatever you are trying uh, this card is giving me a feeling that probably you are trying to hide or cover up something as well uh, so you need to let go of that as well uh, find a balance of uh, love and courage in your life um, that's my message for you Capricorns. So let's see what's happening Oh, 
Debbie Downer, Five of Cups. Yeah. The Devil card is, and by the way, um, Two of Cups um, sort of flipped in the deck. Um, Five of Cups, Debbie Downer. Ace of Wands The Sun card, okay Should I stop my reading here? Let's see Ace of Swords Four of Wands, okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm getting excited for you, Capricorns. Three of Wands. Okay, so it's all good it's all doing great besides your personality right now um so despite the fact that you're being possessed and you have taken control or you have given control over uh, yourself to someone else um that is very much evident with your first card here five of cups um so this could be someone uh, you might have dealt with uh, in the past uh, romantically uh, this first or there was a breakup or something like that um, you or even if there wasn't a breakup uh, then you are thinking about the past how things were in the past you are you basically a, a swallow in the pill of pill called Debbie and you're crying over um, all the three cups which have been spilled you're not uh, looking at the bright side and see that two cups are still filled and there is still some hope left um, you are just thinking about the past and those memories are not serving you well you're being very pessimistic uh, you're yearning for things which can actually never happen now i'm not saying that this relationship cannot happen and just as I was saying that this relationship cannot happen, uh, Wheel of Fortune at the end, bottom of the deck. Underneath that, oh my god, uh, I need to reshuffle re these cards, um, Ace of Wands. So, uh, no, there is no such thing. But sometimes when things change in a relationship, uh, they cannot go back to how they used to be in the past uh, just keep that in mind before you start um, you know um, crying over spilt milk I would milk uh, I would say that uh, before you start um, wallowing in the past uh, before you start giving your past power over your own emotions right now remember that things can never be the way they were in the past things can grow again things can um, nourish uh, in a different manner things can blossom again but at the same time they will be different things uh, they will be different memories uh, 
in this case scenario let me tell you one thing this could be the same person so uh, don't think that even with the same person you cannot have the same kind of memories you had before you make new memory memories every time even if uh, it's you know uh, either you are if you even if you were separated and this is a reconciliation which I don't see uh, but at the same time um, this uh, this seems like you you guys are still connected at certain level even if you have been separated you make new memories every time so um, don't look at those three um, uh, you know um, spilled over um, cups don't look at the minor disappointments don't be moody don't let your moodiness take control over your um, emotions just enjoy enjoy what is in front of you uh, because you you have still been given two cups you've still been given look at people who just break away and keep on um, remain in a loop of one-sided love um, kind of situation you're not like that it's it's gonna be all right don't be dissatisfied uh, don't be disappointed don't start moping and spill your moodiness on the other person as well um, don't do that please don't do that um, you, you want things to go back to normal things will go back to normal but they will not be the old normal they will be new normal um, they cannot be the same as they were before but they will be beneficial in the long term if you look at the past that will not be beneficial for you in the long term uh, you need to look forward you need to look at things which can wash away your past memories and give you new ones um, the other person wants a new beginning with you it's not like they don't want a new beginning with you now like i said before this person could have been separated from you i didn't see separation here uh even if there is separation um uh, or if you guys are still together and having issues um there is a new beginning happening at the horizon there is something new uh, there is something beautiful which is um, which is very creative uh, something uh, something very auspicious um, you want you know th if things were at this level expect them to be at a higher level so if they were high they're gonna go higher this time expect them to be higher um, and this time there will be a lot of uh, you know power in the relationship it, it will be something which cannot just be broken away by uh, anything it will be a new beginning for you it will be a rebirth it will be success um, it will be passion it will be enthusiasm it will be growth not for those of you looking at it from um, any other problem uh, kind of perspective this is going to be a new beginning at any any different level this is going to bring in a lot of courage a lot of creativity a lot of optimism um, a lot of ambition this person is bringing in a lot of ambition into your life um, and, and this person is going to transform your entire life and we have the most fortunate card in the tarot they want things to work with you they want things to be they, they think that you are some sort of lucky charm for them they think that things are all um, you know rainbows with you they want things to work with you they want this particular relationship they want this particular connection with you they want to make things official um, they don't want things to remain in um, undercover or they don't want to hide things from anyone they want things to be out and about and be official so that um, you know um, everyone can know about them uh, not many people get to experience this thing, but this person wants and not only wants a brand new beginning with you, but at the same time, this person wants to make it official. This person, um, you know, wants happy events. They, this person wants to achieve a certain level of, um, you know, there are different levels of relationship. They want to achieve the highest level in the relationship. They want um, 
good vibes in this relationship they want growth they want success they want happiness uh, it's a childlike uh, energy where everything is good and happy and nothing is bad nothing is evil i see that you want a uh, new opportunity uh, as well it could be with this person could be with another person um but you want new opportunities you you i see that uh, from uh, this debbie downer mood you want to get out of it uh, you want things to uh, go to a different level uh, you want things to um, work in start working in your favor you want things to um, give you growth um, an opportunity to grow uh, you want things to be just you want things to be truthful you want to uh, you want to be victorious in your life you want to take action you want to uh, be perceptive in life you want things to be you you want to make things right you want to make the right connections in life um, this other person they probably want to introduce you to their family now this is a marriage card for me this is also a card of um, introducing someone to their family to their coven um, like I said they want to make it official so maybe they want to come forward and then later on they, they want to make things um, official they they want a marriage they want a happy family with you they want to introduce you to their family and um, it could be that this person is very family oriented and that's why they want to introduce you to their family so you have to be optimistic about the future you have to look beyond the horizon you have to see that literally see is not the limit there is so much more which you um, you, which you need to see you need to see that things will come in and your ships will be in the harbor um, this is like a um, beginning of something beginning of something new um, beginning of um, something which has which has nothing to start with but at the same time now is there is a new beginning all of a sudden uh, Let me see what else you need to you need to be actively involved in this process when this this opportunity is coming towards you okay this opportunity is definitely coming could be dealing with the layer by the way um, but you need to be actively involved you need to be actively waiting for this opportunity and when it arrives just grab it everything is in constant motion in terms um, when, you know in your favor um, there is expansion there is growth for you guys there is uh, there's a lot of um, there are a lot of future prospects for you too so uh, look for the future because the, your future looks bright brighter than the sunlight all right let's see i don't think i need to clarify these readings um with, let's see what is this five of cups doing here oh, queen of cups so um you might be feeling like a debbie downer because um you were the queen uh, Queen of Cups specifically, someone who um, who keeps her uh, emotions in check, someone who keeps her emotions, cup of emotions sealed, could, you know, um, who is like, who's very contained. Um, when someone like that, somebody, somebody who is very contained, somebody who is very particular about their emotions, they get, they get a little bit of hurt in their particular relationship they start to um, wallow honestly speaking they start to wallow um, it's good that you are not in um, 
in that grudgy feeling uh, not uh, living in vanity but at the same time um, you were someone who was very loving uh, very dedicated but when there was a glitch that glitch made you feel as if things are not going right and you started to go reflect on negativity instead of positivity um queen of cups is someone who ref, uh, reflects on different things so you started reflecting on the negativity aspect you, instead of healing yourself emotionally you started wallowing about the past queen of cups is also about emotional healing so you need to heal emotionally what is this is of wands The lovers, you guys are meant to be together. You guys are soulmates. The lovers card could be dealing with the Gemini as well. But you guys are meant to be together. You guys are soulmates. You have this immense romantic love between you two, which keeps, which is never gonna let you guys apart. It's it's gonna keep on pulling you towards each other. No matter what happens, you guys will circle back around to each other. And this is this is a soulmate connection which was disrupted, and now you guys are back together. That means if it was disrupted, for those of you this was disrupted or you had a breakup. Like I said before, I don't see a breakup card here. I just see that there was some sort of glitch in the relationship. Um, if it was, um, you know, um, if it was a breakup and then you guys are coming back together, that's called unconditional love. That's the kind of soulmate connection, which is real soulmate connection. Soulmates are pulled towards each other, but once they they have been broken up and they come back they circle back to each other again and they accept each other which is very much evident here that's unconditional love that is the kind of love which lasts forever that is the love no one can break that is the true soulmate connection Queen of Pentacles, someone needs to be grounded and that someone is you. Someone needs to be grounded, someone needs to be uh, more optimistic in their life, someone needs to be um, very isolated from their emotions right now uh, and I think that person is you, not, not the other person. They want a new beginning, uh, no matter what happened they want a new beginning they didn't let that affect their emotions i don't see their emotions except happy emotions um you are the one who needs emotional healing you are the one who needs to ground themselves you are the one who needs to see in that um, you need to be devoted you need to be emotionally fulfilling and you can only be emotionally fulfilling if you uh, have he's emotionally um, an emotionally empty person cannot be emotionally fulfilling so you need to be that devoted loyal emotionally fulfilling person to this person that's what this relationship demands nothing else what is this ace of swords doing here yeah it's now it's now it's unconditional love because it's a reconciliation you want reconciliation that means there was a breakup for some of you yeah or uh, for those of you it wasn't a breakup um, you you want a new beginning uh, you want growth because you have a lot of good memories with that person 
Wow, I feel like being a Capricorn today. What is this poor one doing here? There is a very rare chance the lovers and six of cups. New beginning, ace of pentacles. Told you. This person wants a new beginning with you. This person wants to make home with you. This person wants a family with you. They want to introduce you to their family. They think that it's a blessed connection. They don't have anything negative to say about you. They don't have anything negative to say about you. They only have positive things and they think very highly of you. They love you a lot. They love you a lot. <sighs> I feel like being a Capricorn. I, 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 I'm really happy for you guys, Capricorn. Um, what is this tree of wands doing here? Again, we have six of cups. You want to be with this person. You want to be with this person. You want to be with this person. That's what this devil card or, uh, you know, possessiveness or obsession was all about. Because you always wanted to be with this person. You so wanted to be with them that you just forgot to emotionally heal yourself. But it, it's like you just, no matter what, you want to be with this person but at the same time look at the bright side they are coming towards you no matter what now you can know that they are coming towards you oh <laughs> queen of cups so here we have the Queen of Cups and then we have a 2222 might be um, of significance for you. Um, you were um, you were that like passionate loving person um, in your life. First of all, you want to be with this person. Um, there is nothing in this world with else which you want you just want to be with this person you want to be back with them because you have so many good memories of them uh, that you cannot let go of them and but uh, I see that those memories are negatively affecting your mind right now uh, you need to emotionally heal uh, so that you can be emotionally fulfilling um, the other person is already emotionally fulfilling honestly queen of cups um, three of uh, ones clarified by queen of uh, cups they are already someone who is very devoted uh, someone who loves very dearly somebody who um, who wants a home uh, again we had the four of wands clarified by ace of pentacles definitely somebody who wants a home with you um, somebody um, somebody who wants serenity in love that kind of love love which um, gives you a lot of hope love uh, which is dedicated loves which make you reflect on different things on yourself on your surroundings love which gives you not only emotional fulfillment but also emotional healing at the same time so they might be able to help you heal um, or they, uh, you know, um, they are the kind of person who um, who will emotionally fulfill you. This is like a match made in heaven, Capricorns, and I am really, really, really happy for you. It's like a true soulmate connection. All right, guys. I'll see you next month if you're still reading, um, watching my readings. But right? this is this is a wonderful connection you're in. Uh, uh, hopefully things go well and remain well with you and this person. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you next month. Bye.